Welcome to another episode of The Goody Room. So today, we're going to discuss the goody of uh, mentality, okay? And I got a few pointers on here. A couple things that maybe you'll be able to take away. Um, you can show this to your kids. You can show this to someone who's struggling right now. Um, someone who doesn't know where to turn. And I'm by no means an expert, but this is what I found out through uh, common human behavior. Okay, and things that tend to work for the average person outside of like counseling or anything like that. So I just want to go over um, a couple key pointers on here. Really simple, short video on things that maybe you're not thinking of. Okay, so the first thing here is if you're struggling, okay, with trying to get to a certain place that you envision that you should be, okay? So whether it's a goal, whether it's something within your personality, maybe you're designed a certain way and you feel that you don't need to change. However, if you want to obtain certain things in life, such as a job status, okay? If you wanna be a leader of some sort, you then need to develop the attributes and the personality traits in order to gain that value in your life, okay? And even if you work in some type of profession, you need to understand how to talk to people. And also what that does is it will increase the availability of your decision making and the options you have in life in general. Okay, so there's the basic topic of this is changing your mentality. And the biggest thing that, um, believe it or not, one of the biggest things actually that is very challenging is one word habits okay so we're going to get into that now i have a key point here which is actually pretty interesting but the key point says if you are struggling that means within your self-conscious it does not support your agenda okay so that basically means that you're trying to go after something, okay? You're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and then you give up. Then you're trying, then you give up. And then you get into a negative mindset because you can't achieve it and so on and so forth. So something in between these two points is not clicking and it's stopping you from proceeding forward and not giving up. And you're putting all these little things in the way as to why you can't get to this point that you want to get to, okay? So... One topic, um, I don't know the person who wrote this, so you know if you guys know or if you've heard this before, feel free to share it in the comment box, but this is something that I jotted down in regards to what I heard a long time ago, and it says, if you want to obtain things in life and you want to make a change or there needs to be a change, okay, for beneficial reasons, what you need to fix is your previous programming internally. OK, so what that means is you don't have to go back and fix everything in your past because that is what is already done. OK, if you understand it on why it happened. OK, well, we close that book. We open up another one. All right. Now, what this means in regards to fixing your previous programming. So let's look at like a uh, like a computer. OK, it's only as smart as you. Right. When you go to give updates on your computer, okay, it runs faster, runs smoother, so on and so forth, right? If it's not letting you get an update, it's because you need to fix something that happened before the update, all right? So same thing within human behavior. If you want to fix yourself or you want to try to educate someone how to fix their self, you need to fix whatever it is that is internally wrong, okay? That internal problem that does get fixed will then be able to shine externally to give that person the openness to then go do other things, try other things. You know why? Because that's not hindering them anymore on the inside. That then ends up clogging their thoughts, any negativity that comes up. And this is also formed by habits. Okay? So... The best thing about this is that you can rewrite your program, 
okay? You don't have to go back and go through your past, but what you can do is look in the mirror and change today what is wrong. If you feel nothing's wrong, well, that's one thing, but if you feel that, okay, I want to attain something in life, I want to be something, I want to go and do this, that, and a third, okay, but you think maybe you don't possess those certain qualities, or maybe you're shy, or whatever the case it is like that, there are internal pieces, okay, and there's solutions to everything, there are internal pieces you need to fix to get over the hump, rewrite your program, okay, and then after you do that, you'll be on your way. So let's get down to the last part, okay? Habits. Y'all know what habits are, okay? You hang around the same people, you have the same routine, you have the same emotions, okay, when you're around these people, and you have the same mindset, all right? So when we fall into habits, there's good habits, there's bad habits. I shouldn't, I don't have to explain that to you so because you already know what those are. So there's a lot of key things that motivators have said and people that give uh, life advice, such as sometimes you need to change your circle. I'm sure you guys heard that before. Um, sometimes you need to shrink your circle. I'm sure you heard that before because you outgrow people. All right. But what it really comes down to in regards to changing your, um, your life in general and your mentality on how you approach things is that one, you have to get rid of whatever is going on internally because that's going to affect every single decision you make, your emotions. You tend to hang around the people that are doing the same thing, that feel the same way because why? You can connect with them. It's been proven that way for many years in many situations that humans tend to fall within a category of someone they can connect with. Okay, it's just basic human behavior. They want to resonate with someone of, I feel this way too, okay? Why we're getting into this topic is because you're allowed to be different. And I don't know if someone has told you that or has not told you that. You're allowed to be different. And if you want to succeed and you want to do things that benefit you, your life, maybe your family, or even your friends that you say need a pick me up, these are certain things that you can also tell them like, hey, man, or hey, uh, what's bothering you internally? And people may like shrug it off and stuff like that. But if you ever take notice, the people that go to get professional help, it's not because it's their current actions and things they've done leading up to that point is because something internally in their program is not right. OK, and it's up to you to go and fix it. You can't take your internal program and then blame it on every decision you make throughout the rest of your entire life because you have the choice to do it. You just, unfortunately, a lot of people fall into a category where there's a life-changing event that happens and then they want to change it. Now, it's great if they get to change it and you, know, you support them all the way and do everything that you can and it's going to be a struggle for them, okay? Because now that internal problem has now become an external problem, all right? So, like I said, let's rewind back. Habits, sometimes you need to change your habits. Do something new, try something else, okay? Be, if you're a closed-minded person, and but you want to change and you have the potential to change, because everybody does, then you need to sit down and say, okay, why do I want to do this? And it has to be for something inside of you, okay? So there's a... um a very powerful uh, goal, okay, it's called your why. So basically what your why is, is um, when you are at your lowest point, okay, and you feel like giving up, etc. your why on why you want to get to this point where you are and something that will automatically kick back in to say, you know what, I gotta stop what I'm doing, I gotta stop feeling sorry my, for myself, I gotta take some ownership, and I got to get out here and do this for me. Okay? So I know I threw a lot at you. I hope, you know, maybe there's certain pieces you can take out of this. But the most that I'm going to give you is you got to change your programming. All right? You, can, you don't have to go through your past again. You can start today. Little things. Okay? And because life is way too short to go through the, your whole life upset or miserable or, uh, you know, 
you are in complete control of what you want to do, how you want to feel, how you choose to decide to act towards something, okay? And this ranges from all types of backgrounds, mindsets. Um, there's people that have lost arms and legs that go and do uh, plenty of amazing things. There's people with disabilities that go and do plenty of amazing things. And it all starts with the mindset. They fix their internal problems of what they feel and then they change their habits. They do something new. They start eating new foods. They start working out more. And then you know what happens? They have these amazing stories and then the world sees it and they're like, you know, cheering them on, woohoo! And you know why? Because they took it upon themselves to commit to it. So that's really the topic for today. And I just gave a little short video, give you some a couple pointers here in regards to changing your mentality and human behavior within yourself. Okay, it doesn't have to meet society's needs by any means because we all know where we're kind of heading in that direction. It's okay to be different, be strong, be a leader, go out there and do what you got to do to provide for yourself and your family. And most importantly, handle whatever it is that's going on that's internal because it's coming to a point where life is, well, it's already been like that. Life is not waiting for you by any means. And if you want certain things in life, you have to fix the internals and, and maybe something that's non-repairable. Okay, there's a solution to it because you're not the only person that has been in this situation and you will not be the only person that stays in this situation. You're made to be better. You're made to do better. And if you need to get professional help, great. Go ahead and do that. Take the time to do so. It doesn't make you weaker to go get professional help. I'll say it one more time. It doesn't make you weaker as a male, mostly males, because their pride gets in the way, to get professional help. You know why? Because it keeps you stronger. All right? That's a big thing. It doesn't make you weaker. It keeps you stronger. All right. And if you ever look at a lot of stories where they go to get help and um, they have this problem, OK, or whatever the case it may be, they have this thing and they know it's a lifelong thing. But you know what? When they find little nick uh, tips and tricks on how to maneuver that still dealing with it, but maneuver it, they find that their life is so much better because they know how to deal with it. They understand it. And then they move forward with it and saying, I'm not going to let this stop me. Okay. There's people with uh, different types of cancer, all types of stuff. You can look up the stories for days. I don't even have to tell you about it. You see it all the time. And if that person can do it, then so can you. And it doesn't need, it doesn't, you don't have to be some stellar leader that, you know, uh, you read books uh, every day, you know, it's a drive, it's a will to fight and do what you need to do to excel and not be strapped to a chair and say, well, this is your life now. So take away what you will, go be great um, and try to fix things little by little because your kids, sons, daughters and, the, you know, each generation after that, there's got to be a change somewhere. Okay, and it has to start with you and, you know, hopefully you can pass it on to uh, everyone, really, everyone you come in contact with. So at the end of the day, keep your head up and uh, I'll see you next time.